Yes, thank you, Chushan. Hi, Tom. Hi, everyone. I'm glad to see you online. Uh, the title of my talk today is The History of Teacher-Student Relationship in China. Uh, why, I, why did I choose this topic? I will begin with my stories. One day in August 2019, I was nervous, waiting for my supervisor. Then he came out from his car and introduced himself. Hi, I'm Tom. I was surprised without knowing how to call him, because in China, we seldom call teachers' first name. Several weeks later, I found his graduates call him Tom, and I and knew it is OK for me to do so. But this is different in China. For the respected professor like Tom, we don't use the first name, even the general teacher. We use Xiansheng in the academic field. Xiansheng means excellent scholars. At the same time, my son, Tai also experienced the same cultural shock. When he is in China, if he has a teacher with a surname Li, Tai can call him Li Lao Shi. Lao Shi means teacher. But in medicine, he must use the Mr., Mrs., and Miss. It was really a big challenge for him. In fact, the Chinese call is a specific one, and we can easily know the vocation from it. But the American call can be used for everyone, and it is a general call. Another difference is the cinemas and classrooms. In UW, you can take candies and uh, snacks to the graduate classroom and the cinemas and enjoy it with your classmates and the teachers. But in China, we sell them to do so. When I was a pupil in a Zuzu elementary school, there was a special restroom for the teachers. In fact, in our opinion, teachers like God. It is weird to imagine that the teacher can go to the restroom. About five years ago, an elementary school teacher from Xinjiang said to me he felt awkward to go to the restroom with the pupils because they have the ones for teachers. In conclusion, In US, a teacher is a person like a student, but in China, a teacher is like is a teacher that is different from the student. Uh, we know the social society is not natural. It is shaped by the history. In order to understand the secret of my stories, we must know the we must know his stories, the history, to find how it is built bit by bit. In this presentation, I will begin with the, the origin of the Chinese character Shi, that means teacher, and uh, to search the original meaning of the teacher. After that, I will show three types of relation, that is teacher as father, teacher as friend, and the teacher as enemy, which represents the efforts to use a different model of relation to norm the teacher-student relation. At last, I will give a final conclusion. And this is the inscription of Chinese character Shi, which means teacher, on the bones and the tortoise shells of Shang Dynasty, which was almost 3,000 years ago. This character can be divided into two parts. The left part pronounces Dui, means small hills. The right part pronounces Za, means surround. In Chinese, the Huo part also means an army unit with 2,500 soldiers. It seems to suggest that teacher should be a leader. We know that the hills are higher than the ground. It seems to suggest that the teacher should have more knowledge than students. In conclusion, 
that might be a command and obedience relationship between teachers and the students because of the gap of knowledge. This is the inscription of the Chinese character Jiao, which means teach, on the bones of the, of the tortoise cells of Wushan Dynasty. The left part is the content and the child. This is the content, which means what we teach to students. This is the child. And the right part is a hand with a stick. This is a hand with a stick. The stick is used to punish, and the hand is a hand of an adult. This adult may be the child's father. In fact, before Zhou Dynasty, that's about 2,500 years ago, fathers might be the teachers in public schools. About 700 years later, in the South Song Dynasty, there was a popular textbook used for pupils named San Jing, the three character classic. This book said it is the duty of the father to educate his, uh, his children. Even now, family, ha family has st is still a metaphor to understand the school. The graduate student with the, the same supervisor, call sister and brothers with each other. Confucius is uh, the sage and great teacher in China. What he did with his disciples has a great influence in the Chinese history. How did Confucius defend his relation with his disciples? I will give you three stories. The first one is about, is about Yang Hui. Yang Hui was a disciple of Confucius. Yang Hui is, was the most excellent disciple of Confucius. However, Hui was very poor and died before Confucius. After his death, his father asked for Confucius' carriage for the funeral. Confucius said, it is not suitable. Hui regarded me as his dad. Well, I can't take him as my son. The next story is about Confucius and his son, Bo Yu. Chen Gang, who was a Confucius disciple, asked Bo Yu, have you ever got any special suggestions from your dad? Bo Yu answered, no. Once, when my dad was sitting alone in the hall, I walked through and passed by him. He asked me, have you ever learned poetry? I answered, no, he replied. Without learning poetry, you won't know how to speak. Then I lived and studied poetry. Once again, with the same situation, my dad asked me, have you ever learned Li? I answered, no. He replied, without learning Li, you won't know how to deal with the things and get along with the others. Then I lived and studied Li. Therefore, I only heard those two suggestions in private. Chen Gang got back with great delight and said, even though I only asked one thing, I actually got three. One is that we should learn poetry. Second is that we should learn Li. And the last is a gentleman is not biased toward his son. The third story is about Confucius and his another disciple, Bo Niu. When Bo Niu was young, Confucius went to visit him, held his hand outside the window and said, it is destined to lose this man. How could such a person get such a disease? How could such a person get such a disease? It is said that Bernou's illness is serious and contagious, but Confucius still visited him. From this story, we know, in Confucius' opinion, teachers should take care of their students. And after Confucius' death, his disciples were in the morning for three years, just like Confucius is their father. 
Mencius, who is also a seed and great teacher in China, said, a teacher is the father and elder brother of his students. Even now, graduate students still call them still call themselves Dizi in front of their teacher, which means the son and the younger brother. Unlike Confucius, unlike Confucius educated his son by himself, Mencius did not want the father to teach their own sons. He insisted sons were exchanged for education because he did not want the bad emotion produced from teaching to harm the good relationship between the father and the son. He said the father and the son should have intimate relation. In fact, teaching children in some home has become a hot spot of our society. There is also a program in last year's Spring Festival Gala reflecting this issue. No man is a hero to his valley. No father is a good teacher to his son. I have this experience. After different, uh, another difference from Confucius is that the dialogue between Mencius and his students is serious. Unlike Confucius who joked with his disciples. About 200 years later, Dong Zhongshu, who is a philosopher in Han Dynasty, gave a lecture. He separated himself and the students with a cloth called a Wei, so that the student could not see his own appearance. There are many norms reflecting the opinion of teacher as father. The book of the writers stipulates ethics of disciples. For example, when you work with your teacher, you should not run to the other side of the road to talk to others. When you meet your teacher on the road, you should step forward quickly, stand straight and hold your hands. If your teacher speaks to you, you are supposed to answer. If he, she doesn't speak to you, you are supposed to leave quickly. The way of treating teacher is the way of treating father. When the father calls you, do not use no to answer. When your teacher calls you, do not use no to answer to. You should use we to answer and stand up at the same time. One of the six disciplines in Han Dynasty emphasizes that the teacher deserves respect and interprets the teacher-student relationship as a father and son attachment relationship. The law of the Tang Dynasty stipulated that the highest crime is the 10 hours. Well, beating and killing teacher is the ninth hour in justice. The Tang law also stipulates that those who commit the 10 hours are not allowed to discuss, ask, or commute their sentences. And even if there is an amnesty, the 10 hours are not among them. In the code of the daily conduct of middle school students, formally issued by the State Education Commission on March 11, 1994, stipulates that students stand up and salute their teacher when they are in and out of the class. When the class is over, please let the teacher go first. Respect the faculty and the staff, salute each other or take the initiative to greet them. Stand up when you answer questions from the teacher. Stand up and use both hands when you receive something from the teacher. Hold a sincere attitude of giving advice to the teacher. There are many real stories reflecting the, the opinion of teacher as father. About 1,600 years ago, Tao Yuanming, who is a poet, once had a pain in his foot, and then he ordered one of his students and his two sons to send him to the state. In the same period, Xie Lingyun, who is also a famous poet, 
possessed plenty of servants and hundreds of students. Then he arranged all of them to dark mountains and lakes endlessly. They both take their students as servants. The story of Cheng Wen Li Xue is family is familiar to many Chinese people. Cheng is Cheng Yi, a philosopher in Song Dynasty. When Yang Shi and Yu Zhuo, two disciples of Cheng Yi, went to see their teacher, Cheng Yi was taking a snap, and they were waiting beside the teacher. When Cheng Yi noticed them and opened his eyes, he asked them to come back tomorrow, since it was getting later. At that time, the snow outside the door was already a foot deep, which means they have been standing for a long time and gone back without an answer. During the Ming and Qing dynasties, it was also emphasized that teachers should distance themselves from their students. It is recorded that if you want to be a competent teacher, you must give priority to strictness. Someone even suggested that, a te that teachers should not smile in front of their students. As for the salute, when the teacher and the students would meet each other, the prevailing ceremony in Qing Dynasty of worshiping teacher for the first time is to kneel down. After that, the student just needed to bow to the teacher four times, and the teacher bow twice back. In the late Qing Dynasty, Lu Xun, a great writer, said, when I was young, I heard a kind of worm called Guai Zai, which means strange, which was transformed from grievance and vanished as soon as it was pulled with a vein. I would like to know the story in detail. After the class, I quickly ran to the teacher and asked, Xiansheng, what is the story about Guai Zai? I don't know. He seemed very angry, and there was an angry look on his face. Only then did I know that a student should not ask these things, just read more books. The second kind is teacher as, fr as a friend. Sometimes Confucius took his disciple as friends and played a trick with each other. Zi Lu is a brave disciple of Confucius, said to him, the king of the Wei wants you to govern the country. What are you going to do first? Confucius said, first of all, the name must be rectified. Zi Lu said, is there anything like this? You are wide of the mark. How can, this, how can the name be rectified? Confucius said, Zhong Yu, which is another name of Zi Lu, how rude you are. When Confucius arrived in Wucheng, a city, he heard the sound of the orchestra and the singing. Confucius smelled and said, is it necessary to kill a chicken with a knife used for killing a cow? Zi Yu replied, I have heard the teacher say before that if a gentleman lends the tall, he will love, and when the common people lend the tall, it will be easy to use them. Confucius said, students, what he says is right. What I just said was just a joke. Wang Yangming is a philosopher in Ming Dynasty. One day, his students Wang Ruzhong and Huang Sengzhen sat with him. The teacher gave them a fan and uh, said, use it. Huang Shengzhen hurriedly stood up and replied, how dare I? The teacher said, the knowledge of the center is not so constrained and painful, and there is no need to pretend to be toist. Tao Xingzhi is an educator in the Republic of China, Israel, who was the student of Zhang Du Wei, wrote to the teacher candidates, teacher of the future, forgot your age, became a real child, and joined the ranks of children. If you became a child, there will be amazing miracles. 
teachers and the students immediately became friends, and the schools immediately became a paradise. Instantly, you feel that you are as old as a child. When the students and you play together and work together, no one thinks that you are a teacher, and then you become a real teacher. At a cinema at Peking University in 1930s, Hu Shi, who is also the student of Zhang Duwei, made a long speech. A student stood up and said angrily, Mr. Hu, stop talking. What you are saying is just layman's words. Hu said, I'm really not good at this, but will you please let me finish it? Everyone present said, of course, you should finish because this is the tradition of Peking University, which is insisting on our own views and allow others to insist their own. The last type of teacher relation, student relation is teacher as enemy. I will begin with a real story and then with a fictional story. In the first half of 1974, a student from class five grade two of Zhuge Middle School went through physical lab and destroyed some equipment. He was, he was criticized by Mr. Dean. The student refused to accept the criticism, quarreled with the teacher and punched Mr. Dean. Afterwards, some people made comments on this report, such as this punch has knocked away the dignity of the teachers. It has been teachers who have been able to beat students for thousands of years, but now students also dare to hit teachers and turn the tradition upside down. The teacher also had to make a self-criticism of so-called dignity of the teachers. Then the fictional story. In the sense fiction, the three-body problem written by Liu Cixin. Ye Wenjie is the key person who finds out the three-body culture and tries to communicate with them regardless of others' warning. The reason why she is insisting getting in touch with the three-body people and the great risk is for the desperation toward humans, which is resulted from two key experiences. First, she witnessed that her dad, a, a famous professor of physics, was beat to death by students. Second, after several years, when the Cultural Revolution ended, she visited those students, hoping that they might confess about her, de her dad's death. However, they refused to do that. All of this, make her feel that human lose the hope of self-redemption. So she placed the hope on the three-body people, which unfortunately contributed to the destroy, destruction of the earth. Okay, we can go to a uh, conclusion. History, a complex picture. From the history, we can see there is no homogeneous tradition. Sometimes students respect their teachers, otherwise be published, be punished. But sometimes teachers must be reconstructed by the students, otherwise be punished. Sometimes teacher, teachers really teach students something, but sometimes teacher became respectful just because he helped the students pass the Kyu exam. There is also no general rule. Uh, we can see in most of the case, when there was a powerful government, students usually respect their teachers, but there is exceptions, especially in the Cultural Revolution. So that is all of my talk. Thank you.